Well, I think the uh, the June fifteenth night uh, incident of uh, pushing, shoving, stoning, clubbing um, that has happened uh, at uh, Galwan River Valley in Ladakh sector of the India-China border areas. <clears throat> the it reflects to the failure of the confidence building measures that we have in place between India and China. <clears throat> These have been evolved in 1993, 96, and 2013 uh, agreements. As a result, there were some uh, procedures that they have to follow in order to disengage or de-escalate the relations. So on June 6th, Lieutenant General Harinder Singh and Major General Lin Liu of the Xinjiang Military District, they have had a discussion and they agreed to disengage. <clears throat> so this disengagement process did not effectively be implemented. And as a result, we have seen these number of casualties. Uh, Chinese reports suggest to about 45 to 50 Chinese casualties. Uh, this suggests that there is a very violent clash between the two sides. And so the first thing the government of India and government of China do is to see what has happened in the area, why the commander's conference on June 6th has not been implemented. What problems did they face when implementing the orders of the June 6th meeting? So they first take stock of the situation. Of course, first they will uh, treat the injured. They will first, that is the first duty, but they will also go into an investigation into the matter and then it is after that they will take some action. We do not know what exactly is the action, but yesterday the cabinet committee on security and the defense ministers meeting with the chiefs, chief of defense staff, as well as chiefs of army, air, air force and navy had happened along with the foreign minister. So we do not know the details, but they will take appropriate action based on ground reality, what has happened at the uh, different levels. Sir, uh, this clash happened when the de-escalation de talks were on. How, now with this escalation and uh, deaths on both sides, how will this change things between India and China? Uh, I think this will have a huge impact because we were under the impression that the confidence building measures if these are implemented, then there would have been de escalation. However, this has not happened. On the other hand, we have seen casualties on both sides. The commanding officer of the Galwan River Valley area, Colonel Santosh Babu, and the Chinese commanding officer was also killed in this incident, along with others. The soldiers and JCOs, junior commissioned officers, they were killed in this incident on both sides. Uh, of course, this is not a consolation if there is the killing on the other side as well. What it indicates is the collapse of the disengagement process. The procedures have not been followed uh, and they will fix the responsibility on which side has the Ministry of Foreign Exchange, uh, Foreign uh, Affairs statesman, state spokesman's comments yesterday, Mr. Srivastava's comments suggested that India has always stuck to its line of actual control. It never crossed the line of actual control. And the violent incident took place because the Chinese have crossed that incident. So this suggests that they will fix a responsibility and they will see if the current CBMs are, can be implemented or if they, 
there is a need for new CBMs to follow, confidence building measures to follow. So it is still not clear. We will see based on the ground reality, the ground level forces take action. Uh, sir, after this violence, uh, should India send a stern message to China or should it still try to resolve things uh, diplomatically and through talks? Because a decision has been taken at June 6th meeting. That is the decision taken at the commander's level to disengage and de-escalate. So they will first have to resolve this and then move to the next stage. Whichever is the next stage, the next stage could be diplomacy, the next stage could be war, the next stage could be uh, both sides again meeting at the commander's level and deciding to sort this out. So we do not know. They will take action. Uh, they will not tell you first what action they are going to take. They will take the action first and then tell you what they have taken. Uh, sir, uh, the Chinese have built infrastructure along the LAC and India says that it won't sacrifice even an inch of land. Now, uh, do you think there is a problem with Nepal as well? Uh, do you think, how do you think this is playing out? Because there is a communist government in Nepal also. Uh, uh, this is slightly different and since there is a, a parliament uh, meeting uh, on the issue of Kalapani River uh, and uh, the source of Mahakali River uh, is what the dispute is between Nepal, India, China. Uh, so they will sort this out diplomatically. Uh, and since India and Nepal have diplomatic relations since 1950s, actually through historical uh, period, and both have huge people-to-people -people contacts, some 20 lakh Nepalese living in India, uh, they have family connections and others. In addition, in 1951, we have a treaty between India and Nepal. Uh, all these will be taken into consideration to look at what should be done in Nepal-related aspect. So the Ministry of External Affairs will deal with that subject. Uh, sir, the UN chief has shown, has expressed concern over these deaths on LAC. And in the past, US president too has expressed his concern over India-China's um, troubles. How are these external voices shaping India-China relations? Uh, this is a bilateral issue between India and China. It is happening at Ladakh region in Galwan River Valley. Uh, obviously, many countries are concerned, but this is a bilateral issue between India and China. They will sort this out sooner than later uh, because these are big countries, um, 1.4 billion and 1.3 billion people each, uh, each side. Moreover, they are growing at a faster rate. Uh, they, China is the second largest economy and India is the fifth largest economy in the world. So many countries have concerns on how they resolve because both countries also have a huge military power. So if there is a war, there is total destruction on the part of China and India. So many countries have naturally expressed concern on this issue. That is quite obvious. Uh, but of course, this will be resolved because the leaderships in China and India are mature enough they do not need any outside support. So they will sort this out sooner than later. Uh, sir, Indian intercepts have revealed that China has suffered uh, casualties, maybe 40 plus casualties. Uh, do you think uh, it will now apply a restraint or change its strategy regarding Galwan Valley uh, as it is uh, going on? In the uh, we, do, we do not know what the Chinese response will be, but the Western Theatre Command spokesperson, Tang Shuli, mentioned in a press meeting yesterday that Galwan 
always belonged to China. And India has taken a unilateral action. It is the statement by the Western Theater Command, which looks after the military operations on the line of actual control between India and China. 